Hi Scorpio! Welcome to Pandora Astrology's monthly horoscope for June of 2020. I'm Jamie Kale Miller and with me is Julia Mijas and we have tons of stuff for you today about a couple of eclipses going on, also a COVID degree that we've discovered, and Julia is going to start us off with activity of Mercury, Venus, and Mars. Hey Julia, what's up for Scorpio this month? Well, sure, Jamie. Hey, Scorpio. So Mercury is going to start the month in the sign of Cancer, which correlates with your ninth house. And the ninth house has a lot to do with higher education. It's also a legal house, and it's also associated with promotion. So when on June 17th, when Mercury goes retrograde, that tends to be a time of review in our lives. So that means that you could be reviewing what you've learned at school. You might have to relearn some things. Um, it could also mean that if you're involved in any legal uh, cases, that you might have to review uh, what's going on there, as well as if you're involved in any type of promotion, you might have to sort of look over the work that you're doing and the message that you want to get across. Uh, then Venus starts the month retrograde in the sign of Gemini, which correlates with your eighth house of shared resources and uh, intimacy. So uh, Venus is a relationship planet, and when she goes retrograde in the eighth house, it means that you could be reviewing how you and your partner share resources together. That could be uh, any investments you have together or any shared resources if you work towards a mortgage together as well. And also reviewing about how you and your partner are intimate with each other and whether that's satisfying enough for you. Then on June 25th, Venus goes direct, which is going to feel really, really great because Juno, the uh, relationship asteroid, has already gone direct earlier. So that means that this is going to be a close of the relationship retrospection period that we've been going through for a while. Mm -hmm. So that will be quite relieving. Mm -hmm. Then Mars st starts the month in the sign of Pisces which correlates with your fifth house of games and children. So if you're a part of any type of games, maybe you play online video games with your friends, um, you could be feeling extra competitive this month. And since, since Mars is also um, a planet that tends to be a bit conflict prone, if you have children, you could be having some kind of feisty arguments with them a little bit too during that transit. Then on June 27th, Mars enters the sign of Aries, which means it's going to be going into your sixth house of health. Um, it's a really good transit for any initiating any new routines that you want to do which are supportive of your health, but it can also be a time when chronic conditions also act up a bit. Mm. So true. There are a couple of eclipses going on this month. The first of these is a lunar eclipse which is happening in Sagittarius right here falling in your second house. And uh, a lunar eclipse is a time when a lot of unconscious emotions get stirred up. And this particular one is going to be pretty fiery because Mars is um, waist deep in it. So um, <laughs> I've been saying keep a bucket of water around um, and channel passion, not anger during this one. And for you specifically, it falls in the financial house axis. So second house of money, your money, eighth house of other people's money. So there may be some arguments, some conflicts, some lines drawn in the sand relative to what's mine, what's yours, what's ours, what do we share, you know, and have we handled our taxes? So, um, yeah, so keep it cool, <laughs> you know, cool the jets. Around the 20th, there's another eclipse coming, and they do frequently come in pairs or even triples like that. This one is landing in your ninth house. It is a solar eclipse in the sign of Cancer. The ninth house is a house of growth and expansion. It's also a house of your worldview and your beliefs. So this particular eclipse could stir up some pretty strong feelings about your beliefs and some behaviors about that that are driven by unconscious forces. So become more self-aware about what you believe and how it may be similar to or differ from what other people believe. And um, uh, yeah, <laughs> and watch your behavior around that. Okay, uh, then the last thing I want to tell you about is that Julie and I have discovered a COVID degree, which is to say 22 degrees of Capricorn falls in your third house. And uh, this is where Saturn and Pluto conjuncted in January. And that's really when the pandemic started to just proliferate. And we've made a video about this called The Astrology of the Coronavirus Pandemic. It's going to be found in our June 2020 news playlist on our YouTube channel, Pandora Astrology, also in the 2020 news playlist there. Um, and in that video, we talk about how 
this hot degree is going to be triggered multiple times throughout the rest of the year, yielding dates then you should where you should expect flare-ups of the pandemic and more intense um, uh, experiences of it landing in your life and also when you should avoid angry mobs. Now, because this falls in your third house, it's more likely to uh, affect you in the realm of ideas, in the realm of communication, and probably manifest as arguments. So stay off of social media, please, during those hot dates. Um, yeah, it's not going to be a fun place for you to be. <laughs> okay, uh, I think that's all we have for you, Scorpio. Um, there's a variety of themes covered this, uh, this month in this horoscope, so... Uh, I don't think that you really need a focused reading, but if you want a reading that can answer all your questions, the natal and transit one is the one to get. And we'll see you next month and all around the cosmos. Bye. Bye-bye.